When it comes to hormone replacement therapy for perimenopause or menopause, there's a lot of misunderstanding around what are the differences and which is the best one to use. Hi, I'm Dr. Patricia Mills, a holistic medical doctor with a root cause approach to health, and welcome to the Wild Wisdom Show. Today, we're going to be talking about bioidentical versus synthetic hormones for hormone replacement therapy, understanding the differences, and choosing the best options. Now, here's what you need to understand has been the wrong direction in terms of the conversation on bioidentical versus synthetic HRT. So first of all, let's get clear on what bioidentical means. Bioidentical means that the hormone in question, whether it's estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, thyroid hormone, whether it is the same as how your body makes it. Non-bioidentical means that it's not the same as how your body makes it. So for example, the big study that was done in the early 2000s that gave everybody a concern around breast cancer and hormone replacement therapy, now we've unpacked the truth that it was because the progesterone used was a non-bioidentical progesterone, called, and it's a, called the progestin when that's the case. So non-bioidentical progesterones can increase the risk of breast cancer, whereas research has now shown that bioidentical progesterone does not and could even be protective. So we have non-bioidentical estrogen as well. The non-bioidentical estrogen is the kind that's typically found in the oral contraceptive pill, for example, whereas the bioidentical progesterone, uh, sorry, the bioidentical estrogen is called estradiol, and uh, or it might be called estriol because we have three different kinds of estrogen in our body, estradiol, estriol and estrone. So when you see that it's either a cream or a patch uh, or a gel or a vaginal application of estradiol, then it's typically a bioidentical uh, estrogen. So we know now that what we want to choose is bioidentical hormone therapy because it minimizes the risk that it'll have a negative effect in the body because it's not exactly the way that our body made it. You would think that would be intuitive, but it took research for us to, to discover this fact. So now the question is, do you want a bioidentical natural product or a bioidentical synthetic product? Because the difference is that natural means that it comes from nature. Synthetic means it was made in the lab. And here's the big mind blowing fact is that you can make synthetic uh, hormones to be bioidentical. And there's natural hormone options that are not bioidentical. So for example, the natural non-bioidentical hormone options are the kind that are typically found, again, in the oral contraceptive pill or in the IUD, for example. But the natural option of estrogen found in the oral contraceptive pill is called Premarin, usually, not always, but as an example. And Premarin are estrogens that come from a pregnant horse's urine. So pregnant mare's urine, Premarin. And horses have 10 different kinds of estrogens, maybe even more, but at least 10 that we know of. So when we take this hormone, we're introducing at least seven different kinds of estrogen that our body doesn't even make and potentially doesn't even recognize and could even cause problems. So we would rather, uh, we as in me and other uh, doctors who are really versed in the research on this, would rather use a synthetic bioidentical estrogen rather than a natural non-bioidentical estrogen. And the same thing goes with progesterone. So the uh, bioidentical progesterone that is usually used that is natural is uh, often taken from products like wild yam. So wild yam has a bioidentical progesterone and they can concentrate that and put it in a oral or again, a cream uh, or vaginal application. And that's a great option is bioidentical progesterone, but you can also synthesize in the lab a bioidentical progesterone that looks exactly like our progesterone, exactly like that wild yam, natural bioidentical progesterone. And the research is showing that so long as the chemical structure is the same as our own hormones, it really is okay. So the question really isn't, should I use bioidentical or synthetic? The question is, I want to make sure I'm using bioidentical and that bioidentical product could either be natural or synthetic so long as it's bioidentical. So I hope that this here uh, helps clear up any confusion around this. Please put your comments in the chat, uh, in the uh, you know, put your questions in the comments if they've come up for you. If you're listening to this in the podcast, 
go to YouTube, um, search this uh, episode and put your questions in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them for you. And if I need to do another episode to really explain this better, I will. So as an example, um, some doctors in Western medicine aren't aware of this distinction and they are still prescribing non-bioidentical hormone therapies. So uh, a very good um, bioidentical progesterone that you can take by mouth is Prometrium, whereas another one that is not bioidentical that you can take by mouth that is commonly being prescribed right now and things will change over time. So depending on when you watch this recording, it may change. But for example, Visan, F-I-S-A-N-N-E, is a non-bioidentical oral progesterone. And as a, as a clinician, a doctor who is well aware of the potential problems that you can have with non-bioidentical, I would much rather prescribe the Prometrium, which by the way, is covered by health insurance. So again, here's another distinction. Just because it's bioidentical doesn't mean it's not covered by health insurance or FDA approved. So there are FDA approved bioidentical options that are either natural or synthetic, right? So that is a really important distinction as well to understand. And I'll cover that in more depth in my next episode. And I look forward to seeing you then. If you enjoyed this, please save, share, and subscribe. Sharing is caring. And you never know when someone's going to benefit from this great wisdom or this wild wisdom. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, or night, depending on when you catch this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.